Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I filmed a video on how I make my eyes look so big. Um, I used the Lorac Mega 2 Pro Palette, which is right here. It is super, super beautiful. It has a bazillion awesome shades. Um, but it's a one palette tutorial on this entire eye look, which again is on how I make my eyes look so big and doll-like. So if you want to see how it is that I achieved this look, then please keep watching. So I decided to go ahead and apply my foundation, concealer, and setting powder off camera. So now I'm just taking this Becca Bamboo Powder Foundation and I'm bronzing my skin. I wanted to take this up around the hairline, on the cheekbones, and underneath my jawbone. I wasn't really using this to contour, mostly just to add more warmth to my face. This is a really nice olive toned foundation and usually I wouldn't use a foundation but I just really love the color so I'm using this just to add more warmth to my face to give a nice and glowy warmth effect. Now I'm taking Hoola Bronzer on this stout little Real Techniques brush and I'm just pushing that into where I want my contour to be. I have a pretty round face and I don't really have particularly outward cheekbones so I kind of just draw it where I want it. And now I'm taking that same bronzer and I am contouring my nose, just keeping it really light on either side and making sure that it's super blended because we don't want any racing stripes down our nose. So now I'm just taking some Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm applying that to my nose to make it look like a shining beacon of nose. And now I'm also going to be taking that Mary Luminizer on this big fluffy brush and I'm going to be applying that to the tops of my cheekbones. I wish you guys could see just how luminous this stuff is. It is seriously the most incredible illuminator and I'm applying quite a lot. So now I'm just taking this cargo blush in the shade peach and I'm lightly applying that to my cheeks just to give a little rosiness to make me look more awake. I wanted it to be pretty light though so I'm not adding too much of it. So for my transition shadow that I will be using first, I'm going to be using the Sigma E40 brush to blend it, and I'm using the shade Burlap from the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette. I'm taking this into about 3 fourths of the inner corner of my eye, and I'm bringing it up high enough that it's not touching my brow bone, but that it's visible for when my eyes are open. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that out on the ends as well because I want it to be blended. Since I am going to be wearing winged eyeliner in this look, I want you to still be able to see my transition shade. Next I'm taking a much smaller and pointier brush that is from Sephora and I am using the shade Saddle from the same palette. I'm blending this up but not quite as high as our first transition shade but I still want it to be up high enough and dark enough that you can see it when my eyes are open. I find that using a dark shadow and just kind of bringing it up a little bit more above the crease really just opens the eye and makes it look bigger. Also I'm going to be taking the shade and I'm just going to be dragging it out toward my eyebrow and I just find that this really elongates the eyes. You do want to make sure that you're not using too much of product on this brush because you do have to go back in and just keep adding more and more otherwise it could get a little bit dark and we want everything to be very subtle and faded. So now I'm just using a pencil brush and I'm taking the shade black and I'm dragging that out toward the wing where I brought my 
saddle eyeshadow and I'm just gonna drag that into my crease now I'm not gonna take it too far into my crease but I am gonna bring it up to just about a little bit over the middle and this is just gonna deepen it up and again make our eyes look really really big Don't forget it's always important to go back with a blending brush and just try and smooth everything out. So now I'm just taking a little bit more saddle and trying to warm that up a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking the shade porcelain and I'm going to be taking this flat brush and just putting that underneath my eyebrows just to create a nice light brow pop. So now I'm taking the shade Gold Leaf on a flat brush and I sprayed some Fix Plus before I applied that gold eyeshadow because I really wanted it to stick to my eyelid. And I'm just going to be patting that on. It takes several layers and I have to keep on going back and adding more because I want it to be super, super gold and opaque. So now I'm taking our shade saddle and I'm just going underneath of my eyes kind of where my natural eye bags are and I'm just going underneath of those eye bags. Now I got this little technique from Samantha from Battle Lash, but this is what I would consider to be my biggest key on having my eyes look so big. I find that by going underneath the eye bags it makes your eyes look like they're not open all the way when they are so it just makes them look a lot bigger. So I'm dragging this underneath of my eye bag, as you can see, and I'm just making sure that it's super blended so that it looks a lot more natural. And I'm just going to be taking on the inner or the outer one third and just adding more shadow to fill that kind of eye bag area in. I don't want it to look like a white line underneath of my lash line and then just a dark line, so I'm just making sure that everything is super blended. And of course, if you have any fallout, make sure to go back and fill that in. So now I'm taking black and that pencil brush, and I'm just filling in that outer one-third and just deepening up that under eye bag area. So now I'm just going to be taking our gold leaf shade and that same flat brush, and I'm just going to be filling in that eye bag area with gold. And going back with the shade Sugar, I am pressing that into my inner corner just to make it really big and bright. Not big, just bright. Making sure that everything, again, is really blended. I like to make sure that there's a good transition between the shades that I use. So now I'm using a skin tone colored eyeliner by Cargo and I'm just filling in my waterline. Again, this just makes the eyes look brighter. So now I'm taking my favorite e.l.f. eyeliner, which I'm a sucker for liquid liner, and I'm going to be drawing my wing. Now I'm doing a pretty ridiculous wing, not going to lie. I wanted to go with a really, really big dramatic wing because I'm already making my eyes look really big and I'm going to be wearing huge dramatic lashes, so I wanted my wing to be super dramatic as well. I also think that by having a really big dramatic wing, it makes your eyes look bigger and more bold. So I'm drawing a triangle going straight out toward my brow and then I'm just going to drag that line to come back and connect to where my lashes are. This is a pretty slow process and it takes time to get it just right but after practicing and practicing and practicing eventually I do promise that you will get it down. So now I'm going to fill that in with my eyeliner. And make that point a little bit pointier. So 
So now I'm taking Black Track by MAC, which is a gel liner, and I'm just going over top of that eyeliner because I wanted it to be a little bit more matte. I find that my e.l.f. liner is great for quick and easy eyeliner, but it does tend to flake a little bit, and I wanted it to be super, super matte, which I didn't feel like it was. So just going back over that with my angle brush until I get the shade that I want. Unfortunately for me, my gel liner was super dried out because I don't ever use it. Now I'm just going to be coating my lashes with Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, which is my favorite mascara if y'all were wondering. I don't tend to care that much about mascara in general because I have super short eyelashes, but this is my go-to if I'm wanting to coat my lashes. So now I'm going to be applying Blinking Beauty's Samantha Lashes. These are super, super, super crazy dramatic eyelashes, guys. These are my all-time favorites. I would wear them every day, except mine gets super raggedy, super fast, probably because I'm not super good at taking care of them. But I'm just going to take that black track eyeliner, and I'm going to be pushing that over top of my lashes to make them look like they're connected to my eyes and not just on top. And here you can see the difference. It definitely makes a huge difference just by doing simple little tricks. I find the eye bag trick really does tend to help and makes my eyes look way bigger. So now I'm just going to finish off this look by using NYX Natural Lip Liner. And I'm just going to slightly overdraw my lips as I usually do. And just filling those in, of course. Now I'm using this NARS Creamy Lip Pencil. I have no idea what shade it is because I got these as a sample from Sephora. I think I actually got it as a birthday gift. But I do love this color a lot. It's really nice new color. And that is the almost finished look. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm just spraying my entire face to the max with MAC Fix Plus Spray. I'm obsessed with the way this stuff smells. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something cool. Maybe if you didn't know how to do this big dolly eye look, then you learned in this video. And if you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a nice comment. I like reading the nice ones, not the mean ones, which everyone gets every once in a while. But on a brighter note, um, I am looking forward to filming more videos. If you like this style of eye makeup and you want me to film more tutorials with different colors um, doing this big eye type of look, then please let me know in the comments below or shoot me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Autumn Heart. Also, don't forget to check out my website where I will link my videos and you can read my blog and read more about me and contact information if you wanna send me stuff or if you want me to do your makeup. So uh, that is www.beautyatheart.com. Check it out, it's really cool. I worked super hard on it, so uh, without keeping you for the rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.